Hello, I am Dr. Ankit Parak. I am working as a pediatric pulmonologist and sleep consultant at BL Kapoor Super Speciality Hospital, New Delhi. So basically, I am a specialist for lung and sleep problems for children. So today, I would discuss an important problem which uh, which is very prevalent in our country, that is tuberculosis in children. So tuberculosis is a problem which is called uh, caused by a bacteria which is called as Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It can present in many ways in children. The most common presentation would be a child who presents to you with, with fever which is not improving. So usually a fever which is not improving beyond two weeks, we, we would keep a possibility of tuberculosis. Other symptoms could be a child having persistent cough which is not getting better. So usually children will have tuberculosis in the lungs and this is the way tuberculosis in the lungs present. But there can be other ways uh, in which tuberculosis can present. For example, a child has some lymph nodes, that is small lymph nodes which are seen in the neck, in, in usually these areas. And th they, they would gradually increase in size. Sometimes these lymph nodes can burst and form a sinus where pus can be regularly drained. So these are the two common sites which we see, lung and lymph nodes. But you can have other sites uh, which can be affected from the TB bacilli. For example, unfortunately, some children can develop uh, tuberculosis of the brain. Uh, they can have seizures, they can have headache, they can have persistent vomitings, and they can have some disability uh, because of that. Then tuberculosis can affect bones, especially small bones of the hand or the feet. It can involve bones of the hip and the other bones as well. Then tuberculosis of the abdomen, that is tummy, is also very well seen in clinical practice. Uh, these children can have tummy pain which is persisting, children can have increase in the size of liver, increase in size of spleen and again lymph nodes can be seen uh, inside the tummy once we get an ultrasound. Some children also can develop fluid inside the tummy uh, because of tuberculosis. So early recognition is extremely important in children. Most common investigations are like x-rays, we would also do some uh, testing for sputum if the child can produce a sputum. In younger children, because children cannot expectorate that sputum, we would usually take a sample from the stomach. That is, we would put in a small tube through the nose and we would aspirate the sputum which has been uh, taken in the stomach. If the children have uh, problems with the lymph nodes, then we would usually put in a small needle and take a sample and test it for uh, the TB bacilli. The treatment is available. Uh, it is a it is a six months treatment. There are very standard medicines available. There are four drugs which are used: so rifampicin, isoniazid, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. These are used in standard doses, and uh, the total duration of treatment, as I said again, is six months. So it is important that children are monitored well during the treatment, and it is a curable disease. The other thing which is extremely important to know about tuberculosis is that. Children will get tuberculosis from an adult. So if you have any adult in the family who has, who has been suffering from tuberculosis, the children need to be screened. So they need to get a chest x-ray and they need to be examined by, the, uh, by their pediatrician that they are not suffering from TB disease. It is important to realize that we have a preventive medicine. So isoniazid is a preventive medicine which is used in children who are less than 6 years of age and if they are exposed to an adult or adolescent who has pulmonary tuberculosis. This is commonly missed. So we do get to see a lot of kids who get tuberculosis because the adult is having TB and because the adult physicians have actually not advised the family to use preventive medicine for children. So this is something which we need to realize. So for more information on tuberculosis, please log on to our website. Thank you. BLK Super Speciality Hospital, a passion for healing.